Non-allergic rhinitis happens when the tissues inside the nose become inflamed. Now, anyone can develop non-allergic rhinitis as a consequence of any external trigger or even hormonal changes. Can we start right at the beginning, if you could explain what exactly is non-allergic rhinitis? Non-allergic rhinitis is a form of chronic rhinitis, which means that people suffer for a longer period of time from nasal complaints such as a stuffed nose, a runny nose, sneezing, etc. Now, my understanding is it's actually far more common than we first thought. Yes, yes, actually it is. So we've performed some studies in the Dutch population only to find out that if you look at the total chronic rhinitis population, we found that up to 40% of people. And within this group, the non-allergic rhinitis group is quite large and this is in line with other studies, you could say generally about 15 to 25% of people has some form of non-allergic rhinitis, yes. I've just been talking to Sietse Reitzma about non-allergic rhinitis and the fact that actually that it's so common. So given that it's so common, one would expect there would be many treatment options, but that's not true, is it? It is not true, unfortunately. We have many treatment options for patients suffering from allergic rhinitis, several treatment options with novel treatment solutions for patients suffering from chronic sinus disease. But for those suffering from non-allergic rhinitis, unfortunately, we still have limited treatment options. And many of these options do not lead to satisfied patients, unfortunately. So just talk us through some of those treatment options be before we come to the new ones. What, what, how have most of these patients been managed in the past? Well, patients are managed based on the underlying cause of their problem. Uh, this problem could be hormonal, could be abuse of uh, decongestant sprays, could be occupational with uh, the exposure to occupational agents. But in the majority of the patients, and this sums up to 50% of patients that we see with non-allergic rhinitis, we do not find a clear etiology. And we define these patients as having idiopathic rhinitis. Well, that's it for this second Euphoria News Show of March 2022. Many thanks to my guests, to Dr. Sietse Reitzma and also to Professor Peter Hellings. Now, you can find more information about Euphoria and also register for the Euphoria meetings on the euphoria.eu website, where you can also sign up to receive the latest news via email. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter for all the latest news and information. The address for that is at Euphoria. But until next time, from all of us here, goodbye. <laughs>